that's the San Juan mission our next uh, mission I, I believe will be San Jose right then after San Jose we got uh, mission Concepcion and then there's another one I forgot I think there's there should be four or five four or five missions along this trail so the first one we visited this is the second one so San Jose yeah San Jose then Concepcion and then we have Alamo mission that's our last stop I was still walking our bike because they're not allowing bikes to ride this trail all right from here on this point I'm gonna ride my bicycle towards our next destination which is Mission San Jose uh, distance is around maybe around one mile let's see Riding only for how many minutes? 16 minutes, uh, 1.59 miles. Well, let's go to that direction. San Jose is about 2.4 miles that way. Oh yeah, this is the road to Mission San Jose, our third stop in the Mission Trail ride of 2023. Ugh. This is San Jose. This is our third stop. Okay. Maybe for about uh, maybe 30 minutes. But given the heat of the day, I get winded. Let's learn some interesting trivia of Mission Road. Oh, it says here, the, this road linked the missions of San Antonio with each other and with the rest of Texas and Mexico. The Mission Road carried information, supplies, and trade goods and warnings of attack or danger. Some of the travel routes used by residents of the mission 250 years ago are still in use today. Would you believe that? All right. That's a good information to know. Oh, let's walk inside the walls of the mission. So here, walk your bike as we enter this walls of the mission oh so wow look at that this is the relief map of mission san jose there you go could be some information here but it's missing let's take a walk around okay so i think this is the biggest of all the missions in san antonio this big sprawling compound I don't know the estimate but probably this is around uh, maybe two hectares 20,000 square meters I think <laughs> because that's a good no what's 10,000 yeah uh, 
one kilometer times 10 meters no that's a that's a 100 meters by 100 meters i think yeah i think that's a good maybe around one hectare maybe that's around 100 meters i think i don't know maybe 200 <laughs> not a good estimate of distance or depth i'm gonna let you guys look into wikipedia or some other information about San, uh, the San Antonio missions <coughs> we're walking here around the wall as you can see here there's uh, I think the, the walls have like an outer wall and an inner wall and those in between are like houses or, or compartments that are used as houses I'm just speculating this is one of the entrances here that was locked uh, let's see I hope we see some information here around the, you know what's the deal with this okay there you go Indian quarters okay yeah so just as I suspected uh, there are inner and outer walls in the missions so inner and outer wall we are now in the inner wall and outside is the outer wall so in the early years mission indians lived in small detached houses called hakales in 1755 84 of these hakales line streets in what is today the plaza but after 1768 as conflicts with the apaches and comanches increased the mission was enclosed so the they, they built walls uh, and then have them compartmentalized and as you can see here they, they are now occupying the space in between the inner wall and outer wall and they can do their uh, uh, whatever it is that uh, you, you know they're doing it there they serve as their living quarters and then on the outside they're doing their daily chores so interesting to note so a little bit of uh, thing here no no i don't know what these things are but i for some reason maybe they, these are stoves or ovens stone ovens let's see if we have if we can gather information about this one as well so this must be interesting to learn about you know the history of this so probably hundreds of years ago when there was no america when texas was still part of mexico people were going here you know living their lives you know simple lives nothing to do except uh, you know farm and you know farming is like a waiting game okay what is this oh it's a well look at that yeah uh, yeah they closed down the well but i bet you you know this 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 axle over here it's turned by this handle over here and some kind of rope goes around and you can guess it's an axle and wheel oh yeah look at that And look at this wall look at how it was reinforced by this buttress here so it's really reinforced All right, let's learn a little bit about history here okay so this is the church all right was central to the mission community missionaries and indians followed a strict scale schedule of fast feast work and daily prayer all regulated by the sounding of the bell look at that okay see the inner carvings here let's take a closer look
Good morning, excuse me. How large is the plaza this over right here? This right here is six interior acres. Sixteen? Six acres. Six acres. Yep, yep, yep. Six acres. So, what is that in uh, square meters? I don't know. <laughs> all right, so, so all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, that's... Uh, well, I think this is the largest of the missions, right? Yes. Yeah, I'll be around oh, okay. two to three acres. Yeah, I've, I've been through, um, um, oh, what was that called? Uh, es Espada? Espada and yeah. then uh, San, Juan? San Juan and then this. Yes, yep, yep, yep. All right. Okay. And you wanted it in square feet? Yeah, oh, square feet and, yeah, square feet. Square, square feet, feet will be fine. Okay, let's see. Uh, 261,000. Whoa, square okay. Feet, yeah. yeah, that's huge. Yes. <laughs> okay, thank you, ma'am. No problem. All right. So, 261,000 square feet. So, divide that by three, and you got it in square meters. So, 270, that's about 270 divided by, oh, geez, I don't know, but, but the lady says that it's around 60, uh, six acres, six acres of land. And yeah, it confirmed my suspicion that <laughs> this is the largest of the missions, actually. Ah, oh, we can see part of the pink uh, tiles here. This this maybe is the bell tower, the bell fry. All right, let's go listen to the lady over there. San Jose. San Jose. And that's the whole reason why we're missing San Jose. Um, now, all of this is original except for those little itty bitty pieces that I pointed out. Again, they've been cleaned up, right? Um, the stuff that's gone broken is the stuff that most people are able to reach, right? Which is why these are like the least original out of all of them. Um, some interesting facts too this mission did go through three wars. Not that like the wars occurred here, but like during the time period that this was here, there were three wars that occurred. One of the armadas for one of the wars, we don't know which one, but as they were crossing through here, they did use the front of the church for shooting practice. So you'll notice, you'll see like bullet holes in the statue work um, and in the front of the church. Other things too, as well? You're good, you're good. Um, something else to note too, if you go up close, you'll notice that there's a lot of etchings on it. We do have some historic graffiti. You'll see like Michael, 1804. Um, you'll also see some modern graffiti. We just ask that you don't contribute to the graffiti, right? Um, a big question that we get asked is how did they put the statues up there? They're not as heavy as they look. Um, these statues are actually like, have you guys had those Easter Bunny chocolates that you break in half and they're hollow on the inside? Oh, these yeah. are like a hollow half of an Easter Bunny. If you climb on the top step right here and just look, you'll be able to see that they're hollowed out, right? Um, again, the church is going to be the most original thing here. Um, mostly everything else that you see won't be original, right? If you look at this wall right here, that's a good example of it. You can see the original stone on the bottom versus not original stone on top. Um, one of the reasons why we don't have a lot of the original stonework is because this was a mission from 1720 to 1824. And in 1824, all of the missions stopped being missions um, because at this time, Mexico gains its independence from Spain. So the Spanish crown is no longer funding this. At this time, um, they start secularizing these missions, which means they're turning it over to the Native Americans so that they can be either, you know, not Spanish, but now Mexican citizens, right? And so what they do is they give them land, cattle, some seeds for their crops, um, and they tell them, you know, you're gonna go ahead and take, you know, have a piece of land, you're, you're gonna be building this now Mexican community. Um, take the stones from your home and go build your new home. 
So a lot of the original stonework from these missions is actually in the surrounding community today. It's somebody's house, it's somebody's foundation, it's somebody's fireplace. The only thing that does not get touched is the church. Because remember, there's countless generations that have already been born here. They've been coming to mass here. And even when they leave into their own lands and their own areas, they still keep coming back for mass. We still have mass, weddings, baptisms, funerals, things like that. And we have mission descendants that can trace their ancestry to these missions. Um, something that we do often every year is, um, I don't know if you guys have heard of like the Day of the Dead with ofrendas. We do have an ofrenda, Day of the Dead, a uh, week that we do to honor. Uh, and the mission descendants actually come and make altars inside the granary for their families and their family history. Um, these missions are very, very um, crucial and integral to the uh, city of San Antonio. This is how the city of San Antonio came to be through these five missions. And this is how the culture and the, the birth of the Tejano culture kind of came through here, right? That mix of indigenous and Spanish and other different like Irish, Canary Islanders that, you know, birthed this place. So as you come here and walk through here, just remember that this is still alive for a lot of the people here. Um, and it is still an active part of the community. Um, that's the end of my tour. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Um, I'm going to point out a couple of things that I didn't show you, but that you guys might want to take a look at. Right behind us here, this is the granary. That's where they would have stored the grains, uh, seeds for next year's crops, textiles. They were required to at least have a year's worth of food at any given time. So again, that, think of that as a temptation too. If you've been from a hunter gatherer that's now, and you come and you see all this food in one place, it's like the first Walmart of the day. Right? Think of it like that. Right back here, these are the soldiers' quarters. Now these would have also been for visiting dignitaries, so you'll notice that they're bigger. Now they did train everybody here to be soldiers. At one point they had about 100 soldiers, but these would have been titled soldiers, right? So like a captain, sheriff, things like that. So you'll notice the accommodations are bigger. Right in front, um, there's some glass windows that say exhibits. It has a really important thing, air conditioning. It's not very important. <laughs> so I need it. Yes. <laughs> right? right through this hole in the wall right here, if you go to the back, it'll take you to the oldest place in Texas. Um, that really changed the population out here. One minute of your running will produce a pound of flour. Right, 60 minutes, 60 pounds of flour, that's a lot of healthy yes. population boom. Mm -hmm. uh, on a good day, they can make a thousand loads of bread. Right? right back here, we do have restrooms and water fountains. We'll take a break. And the population is going to um, That's an example of the three bedroom and the right home that we have for additional money. But again, thank you guys so much for joining me today. I hope you guys you know, rest up, stay cool. Thank you so much. Yes, yes, you can go in. Just push. So that's a little bit a history tour given by the, the, the tour guide. So, yeah, it's nice to know that, you know, some of these legacy churches are still here. It's... A reminder for all that however things go the way things are um, you know it's 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 culture and history that defines the city so this is I think a second well as the lady have mentioned much of the walls here are not original and they are rebuilt because of old uh, you know erosion um, wars and all that uh, occurrences that destroy some of the walls right I'm gonna head towards Mission Conception which is the fourth stop head back to we'll head back to the mission trails.